we have two egg sources for this particular hatchery. One is Beaver Lake near Winfield and the other is Panask Lake uh, up on the uh, Panask Plateau. Uh, the, the eggs from beaver come in approximately three weeks earlier and so we uh, rear those fish first and we do that on ambient or, or warmer water and uh, those fish are in the trough room in uh, June and July and they go outside in August. The later panask eggs are reared on, on chilled water to slow them down and then that way we can double crop our trough room because we only have so much space. So the fish that you see here are, uh, have just come out in the last week. They're quite small. They're swimming up now and feeding on their own and they'll be in these troughs for approximately six weeks before that they go outside. The fish that we're going to be moving outside today uh, are at the end of that four or five or six weeks in the trough room and they're already they're already very close to half a gram in size and they're at a stage where they're starting to outgrow uh, these rearing containers and the water that we have for them and if we don't in fact get them out of here uh, in the next little while, they'll actually start uh, a lot of jumping behavior and uh, we may in fact lose a few out onto the floor. Uh, in order to make room for groups coming from the incubation room, we have to move some fish, earlier groups, from inside to outside rearing. And we do this when the fish are approximately a half a gram in size. So what the guys are going to be doing is gently netting these fish out of the troughs and uh, placing them into a bucket which is uh, teared on a scale and then we know how many fish we're moving out uh, by weight. These fish have been previously sampled and we know that they're approximately 1800 to 2000 to the kilo. So the guys will uh, drain as much water as possible and then gently pour the fish from the nets into the buckets until we have about uh, five or six kilos of fish in a bucket. And once we achieve, uh, achieve that weight, then they'll just uh, gently carry that bucket outside to our outside rearing area. When they go in here, there could be as many as 100 to 200,000 fish in the pond. And at some point during the winter as they grow, they'll need to be split down into adjacent ponds as the, the biomass uh, gets critical.